Basically, yeah, decided to go to Belgium in Brussels with Sinead for the weekend. We got a, uh, we drove up from Limerick from Courtyard Friday morning there. Paid 19 quid for the red car park. It's decent enough, like, got the old shuttle bus over into the airport. Terminal 1, you know yourself. Duly booked us into a hotel then, fucking miles out from the city. But luckily that the, oh, we got a few birds here. Got a few birds right here. But yeah, right out from the city. Uh, but luckily it was only about a minute away from the metro. So, we got in, no, but I think we've lost Dooley. She's, she's afraid of the birds here. Run away. <laughs> Run away from the birds. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Which is For who? Is that what's wrong with you? Because you got ripped off with the pick and mix. What were you expecting? Expecting? We're live in the middle of Brussels. We were just bumped into this waffle van. We're definitely going to be getting someone else. With some filthy Nutella games. It's going to be absolutely tasty. Waffles are a big thing here. So yeah, we picked ourselves up a Nutella waffle. Look at that for filth. Absolutely filth. Live here at Mannequin Face. Hey guys, live here at Mannequin Face. Um, we're gonna hit up the gym slash laser, so <laughs> stay tuned. We found our way, fresh off the metro, heading down now. A few boys in traffic, a couple of cars looking around. It's a bit of banter. It's just here at the treats here. Yeah. Sunday, last day of the vlog. Uh, really enjoying myself, eating whenever I like. I mean, I'm not really too bad about going to eat healthy on holidays. You only go on holidays for times a year, so why not enjoy it? We're down at Mannequin Pace, a few other places. Uh, I couldn't believe it that you had to actually queue to get into pennies down here. My days. My days. What are you up to? Have you got your gym pants on? Yeah. Ready to go? Damn. <laughs> I think I lost 
lost my patience last night. I got high as the expectations last night. I came to a realization, and I hope you can take it. Hope you can take it. I don't know how to talk to you. I don't know how to be the one you need me. It feels like the only time you see me is when you turn your head to the side and look at me differently. Last night, I think I lost my patience last night. I got high in expectations last night. I came to a realization, and I hope you can take it. Hope you can take it all. Oh, I'm too good to you. I'm way too good to you. You take my love for granted. I just don't understand it. I'm way too good to you. I'm way too good to you. You take my love for granted. I just don't understand it. People killing, people dying, shouldn't hurt you, hear them crying. Can you practice what you preach? Or would you turn the other cheek? Father, 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 help us and some guidance from the books. Very laugh. So much security here in Belgium, but we're finally here on the aeroplane. Fantastic news. <laughs> now, uh, finally got out of Dublin Airport, out of the blue car park. We actually could have got into it for free because they never asked us for a bank card, nothing like that. So, yeah, next time we're not going to pay. Let's see how that goes. Um, Thank God we're out here though, a lot of security in um, Brussels. I don't know, there's a lot of kind of army men around with guns and that in the airport. Must have been cause of the bomb. We got, I had to go through to the security twice. So yeah, um, I said that was scary, but you know, it was a bit prolonged. And thank God we didn't leave any bags in the waiting area. But if we did that on the flight over, you know, we had to wait for them. We just had to wait ages, took another extra half an hour. So we just brought everything onto the plane this time. So watch hand there.